Um, let's go east to this. Whatever that is. Where is Sea Moon? Ah, all the way over there. That's right. That's right. Oof. All right, we're gonna change clothes again. And this one. There we go. To the east. This, these big rocks are all about. At least what I assume are big rocks, anyway. Oh, we want to go this way. Oh! That's a jump. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Bikes don't fly. Oh, don't they, though? Ah, there's that fucking sound effect again. I think it's just getting close to one of the orb towers and it's like reactivating and doing the animation all over again for some reason. That's my guess. Um, this way. fine. It's fine. Oh. Oop, 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 oop. We're somewhere. Whatever this is. Is this water or is it like lava? I think it's water. Okay. How do up? How how do up? Maybe there? We've got a decent amount of stamina at this point.
Hmm. Not sure we're gonna find an easier way than that, though. We just need to climb better. Up, 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 up. Come on, Sable. Come on. Come on. Come on. Literally so close. over here? Is there a secret behind the waterfall? There should always be a secret behind the waterfall. Oh! -ho! Look at this! There's a secret behind the waterfall. Whoa! Glowworm cave! Oh shit, we found it! Okay, what do we need? We need glowworms for this. We need to smoke them out by throwing rocks. Hold on. Throwing rocks in the caves into water. Okay, throwing rocks into water. And sploosh. Wait, don't you love it when game devs honor the ancient agreements? Yes. Is that not water? Is this lava? It might be lava. Oh no, that's right, they're sulfuric rocks or something and putting them in the water causes a reaction. Just to, sm oh, smoke them out from the ceiling. I get it now. Haha. <laughs> yes. How many of these do I need for the quest? Five? I have seven. Let's collect a bunch of them, actually. They seem pretty easy to collect. Might be worth some money. This one doesn't appear to want to work. Uh, mushrooms. Ha <laughs> Loot! Yes!
<laughs> so many worms. How much? How many mushrooms do we have? Nineteen. Hot damn. Ooh, there's a gem over here. Hooray! down, wormies. Ha ha ha. How many do we have? 19. Let's get one more. Let's round that shit out. Well, we might as well grab these two. Okay. Out we go. We got our worms. We got our mushrooms. It's a worthwhile expedition, I think. I want to get up on top of this mountain, though. I don't know if that's possible. But maybe... This definitely is not how waterfalls work. Just gonna put that out there. Okay, which of these sides is lower? Seem about the same. Nope, nope, nope. I want a little bit of a little bit of air. Come on, Sable. Come on. You got this, girl. Hell yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Anything up here? Maybe over there? I wonder where this water is coming from. Don't love that it's green. Like bright yellow and orange. Nuclear waste, maybe? Haha. <laughs> Jump! Come to me, my beamish boy. Oh, frap just day, Kalu Kale. I don't think I can get up that. That seems too tall. Um, is there anything else for us to explore out here? Just sort of random bits of wilderness. But it looks like we're pretty much done. So let's fast travel back to Seven Sisters. We 
You haven't heard a frap just day in a while? Someone needs to read, uh, uh, what is it? Bandersnatch? Jabberwocky. More often. Greetings, Glider. What can I do for you? I've got the poo for you. I tell the innkeeper I've got her poo. She's ecstatic. Well done. Thank you so much, Glider. That's really wonderful of you. Did you have fun? I actually did. I tell her I enjoyed the task despite myself. She seems pleased. I had a feeling you might. Thanks for doing this, Glider. My flowers are very grateful. So on your behalf, I'd like to give you this. It's a beetle badge, which I'd say you've earned by the virtue of all the poo handling. I'll take it. I offer my thanks, give away, and go on my way. How are we doing on badges? Badges. Now oh, we got two climbers badges, two beetle badges, two scrapper badges, only one guards badge. What a shame. Uh, two machinist badges. Nice. Where's the machinist? Downstairs? Over here? No, that's the mask crafter. Although, we could get, um... Do we have any messages yet? No. We could... Let's, let's craft the cartographer's mask. Because we have the badges for it. The atmosphere in this tent is intense. Uncomfortable. Eh. Claim the cartographer's mask. I show my cartographer's badges to the mask caster. Not like that. Thanks, Mask Caster. Got the cartographer's mask. Woo! Mask, a mask befitting the Cartographer's Guild. The metal instruments pivoting around the mask function to allow cartographers to calibrate devices used to map out unexplored areas. Um, cartographer's Mac completed. Is there not a mask for the gliding? Ah, there it is. Check into a post box to see if Jotty has sent me a message. <gasps> post box. I had a hunch this might happen. Jotty. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Hello, Sable. Do you recognize my voice? Jotty. The very sound of her reaches into my chest and curls warmly, cozily around my heart. I'm only kidding with you. One never forgets the voice that first assigned them chores, hmm? I hope you've been enjoying your gliding and seeing the world at your pace. I expect you've been good and well-behaved on your travels. And I hope you've also tried being a little bad. Not rude or unkind, but... I hope you've bent a few rules and known the small joys of sneaky little secrets. Perhaps I have bent some rules once or twice, or possibly I've just felt like I have, which I think is probably the best part of being a little bad anyway. I'll be brief, Sable, because even though my heart could pour itself out for hours, I don't want you standing out there too long. We've returned to the Ewer, all of us. Our period of grazing has ended and we're back precisely where you left us. 
though I think a little calmer than we were in those last few days. There's absolutely no rush to return, and if you're having a wonderful time out there, I hope you keep it up. The gliding is yours to extend. But if and when you are ready, know that we are waiting for you, with arms that will welcome you regardless of your decision. Now I should go. Hilal's giving us a little poetry reading. Bet you're sorry to miss that, hmm? See you at the gliding's end, at the ewer. Take end. Er, take care. The recording ends, but I still whisper a goodbye to Jotty as though she can hear me. It's difficult not to feel a pull to go to her, and to them, straight away. But I can tell even in her tone that there is no undue pressure or poorly hidden hope. When I'm ready to end my gliding, I'll go back to the Ibexi. Oof. I want to go now. But no, I want to complete the game. I want to do more shit out here. Although I think technically we could end the game at this point. I think. I'm not going to, but I think we could. There you are. Hey, I got some zappy crystals for you. I greet Zara. She nods. Get those crystals yet? I have them right here! I give her the crystals and she nods approvingly, tossing them around in her hands and inspecting the crackling glow of each one. I stand impassive, my arms crossed this time. So, what do you think? I think you deserve a badge. Zara hands me a machinist badge. I thank her and ask what she intends to do with the crystals. You'll like this. I'm building bike parts, and I'm happy to offer them up for trade if you've got a mind to make something big, fast, and electric. My ears perk up. You'd have to slap it together yourself, but that's how you bond with a bike, right? Putting it together piece by piece. Bonding with a bike. I think of the so soft, static hum I feel in my hands when the sun is warm on Simoon's surface, and how she brings to mind a basking beast. We do bond, her and I, don't we? I tell Zara I'll be sure to come to the machinists next. Uh, next I need such things, and we say goodbye. Gimme! Gimme parts. Uh, active rivulets of lightning run in seams within the crystals I harvested in Hakoa. A worthwhile reward for such a dangerous task. Lightning is an uncommon power source across the dunes, impractical and dangerous. Only the, those following specific Hakoan Hikaric traditions would even try to use, utilize it. Um, Lightning-filled crystals move themselves using some kind of static charge. The bike controls and guides their formations to harness the power in each crystal with extreme precision. Uh, who am I kidding? We're buying all of them. <laughs> Uh, can I sell parts to you? No, I can't. Okay. Does this make me faster? Ooh, it does. Oh, these are slower, though. Dang. This looks so cool. Ugh. Oh, the color menu's fixed. Hooray. Nice. All right, Simoon. You look cool, and boy, are we fast. Zip, zap, zap. Okay, let's go to... Let's check our quests. Um, Nosey's Nibbles. We gotta turn that in. Treasure Scrappers. We should turn some... Uh, scrap in. We can get the Machinist Mask. We need to go to the Whale... Um, we need more eggs to bring to the Queen Chum. We still don't know what the ringed rings are for. Um, we're not completing this quest because you do have to accuse someone and there is not a right answer. Um, we have 13 eggs. Okay, so let's turn some quests in. And then I'm noticing there's one more zone out here that we have not been to. We very, very briefly went here and went, that looks scary, never mind. So I would like to visit that. 
Um, but first, we turn in quests to Acria. Here and then back here, I think. Yes, hey, if you're I have worms for your weird fish lizard thing, I tell Citra that I have the glow worms for her. You do, you know, I'd half forgotten I even asked you. I must have been a little distracted. I hand the glowworms over. Thank you for these. Nosy will be eating even better than me tonight. Here's a merchant's bag. Badge is your reward. I say goodbye to Citra. How many is that? One? Three! Okay. Damn. Wait, no, that's Machinist badge. Where's the merchant's badge? Scrapper's badge? Beetle badge? Photographer's badge? Climbing badge. What? Video game? Uh, I appear to be missing some badges. <laughs> I think that's my second. Let's see if I can buy one from... Iria. Oh, uh, no, let's wait. We'll probably run into another merchant who might have a quest we can take instead. Um. Okay, mask. Treasure. Whale. Uh. Let's save these two. Let's go to the whale. Okay. Oh, wrong button. I forget where the terminal is in here. Is it downstairs? No. Woo! This thing is fast. And it turns so smoothly. We might actually be getting kind of close to the end of the game, surprisingly. Suddenly. <laughs> uh, oh, this is the garden, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's go see if we can open this fucking box. That was bugged out for us. Where was it? Up here? Yeah, it was over here. There it is. Can I open you? No. Ugh. I hate that. Bugs, please. Downstairs, talk to Saren. Uh, 
All right. Saren, let's talk. So only one of those lit up. I say hello to Saren. Thank you for your help recovering my data modules. I've updated your security clearance, Sable. Granting first level access. Oh shit. I thank Saren profusely. I hope they understand. I say farewell to Saren. Ooh. So that's this one? Yeah. A suit! Whale shit mask. The visor of this mask gives clarity and visibility. Oh my goodness, Orion! Orion and Co. Hello, welcome. Um, the visor of this mask gives clarity and visibility I'm not used to with other masks. The air tastes cleaner whilst I wear it. Whale ship trousers. So lightweight and form-fitting that it doesn't feel much more than an extra layer of skin. Whatever it is made of is unclear to me. Made from an unrecognizable material, wearing it seems to keep me at a consistently comfortable temperature. Well, welcome, raiders. We are playing Sable and enjoying some chill desert exploration times. If you do not know who I am, hello, I'm Dylan. Uh, you're on my channel. <laughs> Amazing, you got here. Uh, I stream plenty of things, mostly video games these days. Um, but also tabletop role-playing games. And, wait. Interesting, these are all up here. Why is this not sorted anymore? Bugs. Um. Can I not put this on? No. Can I not put anything on? Game, are you okay? Oh, you, I'm in the wrong menu. Can we see Seable's face with this? No. Dang. Um, also, in January, which is the month we're in right now, if you didn't know, uh, I'm streaming every single day. So, fun times. Okay, so we need level 2 access, I guess, to get in there for the bike parts. <laughs> so, I guess with that done, we can just go straight to Burnt Oak? Yeah, we'll go to Burnt Oak. Make a mask. Be confused as to why I don't appear to have any merchant's badges. <laughs> All of a sudden, even though I was just given one. Um, I'm gonna turn in our scrap. Hey. Claim the machinist's mask. Let's just reach into this face real quick. It's fine. This is normal and fine and okay. Good shit. Yay! Machinist mask get. Uh, looks pretty cool. We're sticking with this one though. It's just hard to beat the the OG look, you know. It looks really good. Jump down here. Turn in some scrap for money. Hey, 
Altı. Hey. I've got scrap metal for you. Bunch of it. Alton hands me a third scrapper badge. That what you came for, then? I tell him I came to give him scrap, but that this is a rather nice little bonus. <laughs> like the attitude. Scrap's the real work. Badges are... What's the word? Nice to have? Useless. On their own, at least. But just like, a, like scrap, you can melt them down into something decent. A mask. You'd make a pretty good scrapper's apprentice, you know. If you can find someone willing to take you on, he laughs. I'm kidding. You're good. I'd be happy to have you on my team someday. I take the final badge from Alton and thank him very earnestly, which I think he really hates. Well, don't get all weepy about it. It's not some big moment. and I'll still be here if you've got scrap to sell. See you around, Sable. I say goodbye to Alton. I want in here at your loot. Let me into your loot. Let me get your loot. Let me take your things, Alton. I want to rob you blind. Ugh. I also would like for my roommate not to be blasting music directly beneath my feet. Hopefully y'all can't hear that. But boy, can I feel that bass. Literally shaking the whole house. Um, let's fast travel here. And then go north. There you are. Alright, south it is to, I think this is the wastes? Is that what it's called? Am I going the right way? Oh no, there's an entire other zone here I didn't see. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go this way. This is south, which is where I was intending to go. Well, this is where I said I was going. I was actually intending to go north. Whoopsie daisy. What the heck? Big old crooked trees. Whoa. Everything is gray. Interesting. What the fuck is that? Come on, Simone. What the fuck? Are those bones? Whoa, those are bones. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, welcome to this place. Marrow Bone Station. people living in the bone house. In the bone zone, one might say. Machinists do not startle easily, but this one jumps up my greeting. They give a frantic wave. Glider! Yes! Good to see you! Meet you? We've never met, I don't think. So, yes, good to meet you. I'm Kalan. Kalan rocks back and forth, ball to heel. There's a speedy twitchiness to them, and their words emerge like a too swift rush of wind, picking up little stones and twigs as it washes over the dunes. How's your, um, life going? Things are strange. Strange! Good! 
It is very apparent that Kalan barely registered my response. I'd like you to do something, if you're free, or, well, if you're not, uh, whatever. I'd like you to do something for me. It'll be a little bit fun, I promise, and it'll earn you a machinist badge. Quick and to the point, see? I know you gliders like that. Speed, and things. Like that. Anyhow. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, I want you to receive a machinist badge, and for that I'd like you to, well, report on something of me. Think of it like a mission. Isn't that fun? Sort of? I take a breath to speak, but Kalan has no time for it. You'll need to use your head for this one. I want you to go to the watch and take a reading of the sun. You'll find the equipment a bit, well, you know, outdated, un underdesigned, cumbersome, ar archaic perhaps? Whatever the word. It all still works, and that's what's important. Take the reading, and if you do it right, uh, the face door in the central chamber should open. Once you've seen what's inside, come back here, tell me about it, good? I open my mouth for whatever is the shortest period one can open one's mouth and get no room to speak. Perfect, yes, thank you, and thank me too, because you'll have more than earned, earned a badge. Go on, see you soon, can't wait to hear about it. Kalan waves me off. I say goodbye to Kalan. Do you sell stuff? No, you don't. Okay, bye. All right, Bone Town. Are you a merchant? You are. I can tell by your mask. Greetings, Gliter. Care to peruse my wares? I know someone named Tiago. Uh, tell me about this place. Not many make it down to this part of the world. Most don't like the bones littered around the dunes. They say even the chalk deposits are ancient bones worn down by the sands. If you're so inclined, however, there is not a more arresting landscape in Midden. What you selling? Nomadic bike engine. The modern limited bike component, often seen driven by nomads in the wash. The fins help create a balanced driving experience. Sleek minimal look that has a well-balanced weight to it. A commonly used part used by many people across Midden's dunes. Nomadic bike wing. Floating weights inside each module adjust their position automatically to correct poor driving movements, making for an easy drive. Uh, sure, I've got money. Buy clothes. Just to have them. Um, and what will you buy from me? I have a bunch of glow worms. You only buy six. Sure, buy them. Oh, they're out of money. Oh, the merchant has money. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well for us. Hello, weirdo. Oh, it's you, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, look who's here. My favorite fellow glider. Funnily enough, I was just thinking about you. I was thinking about you too. Were you? Well, sounds like destiny to me. Or at least a bit of good fortune, which frankly is good enough. Elizabeth chuckles, hands on hips. I ask her why she was thinking of me. Because I was considering all the things I never got to see on my first gliding. I was in such a hurry to get to Ecria and become a guard that my gliding was more of a... piercing. A straight shot to the big city. Kiana, hello! Before I knew it, I was years along my path and I'd never seen Hakoa. Never swam in underground lakes. Never figured out what's inside a Nemoor plant. Um, would you like to? I ask if she'd like to get to the bottom of what's inside a Nemoor plant. You know, I would. I'm sure I must have passed a few of them when I came through the petrified forest, but it was daylight then and the sun makes them close right up. Of course, I might have been in too much of a rush to really look. Old habits, eh? Anyhow, I don't think I'll be making my way back through there anytime soon, sadly. So if you happen to stumble upon one, maybe you could crack it open and let me know what you find? Something's got to be making it glow, right? Something about her drives me to action, and I promise too quickly to show her. I feel compelled to impress her. Just a little. What? You don't need to do that. I... Oh, what am I saying? I'm retired. I'm gliding and I want 
what I want. Open up a Nemoral plant and bring me whatever's inside. And here's hoping it isn't some awful poisoned slime. That could be sort of fun. I tell her it might be sort of fun to learn that something so pretty would hold a deadly secret, but that I'd be sad to have to return to her and tell her I died in the attempt. Elizabeth laughs. Yes, that might be a bit of a letdown. With my marching orders, I say goodbye to Elizabeth and go on my way. Um, let's go do that right fucking now while it's nighttime, actually. Uh, Petrified Forest is out here somewhere, I believe. We're going to look for a glowing plant. That is Hakoa, right? Ugh, oh, God, I don't know the names of any of these regions. Hey, where are we? What other regions are we near? Salt Flats, the waste are to the northeast. Southward, you'll see the sands going dark as you get into Hakoa, a black desert. Uh, thanks. Hakoa. Is this Hakoa? The black desert? Uh. To the internet! Where is the petrified forest? Petrified forest sable. Uh... Ah, they are... Oh, it's where I just was. I'm an idiot. Okay. We're going to go right back to Marabone Station. <laughs> and then north. It was where everything went gray, and I was like, wow, this is weird. It went gray because it was petrified, and it was full of trees because it was a forest. Ooh, whoops. Okay, um... Simoon, where are ya? There you are. Ooh, can I see our new bike parts? It goes zap zap now. Woo! Come on, game. Okay, need more plants. Before it becomes daytime. Aha! The glowing ones. Yes, I, I, I know about the how not to lose my bike thing. Thank you. Um, oh, do we have to carry this back? Oof. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work. We're just gonna... Oh, are we not carrying it anymore? Oh. Oh, fun. Butterflies. Okay, is that the answer? Is that... Is that the quest complete? Three butterflies for Elizabeth. Okay. You got it. I just will collect more. Infinite money. No, these are supposed to spawn indefinitely. But they certainly are doing that. Uh, 
Okay, that's enough. Easy. Back to the bone zone. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wahoo! reasonably heighted person. Dr. Sura, I'm studying different flora and fauna across Midden at the moment. We can treat a lot of things using old tech, but we need to be more and more careful how we use that stuff. It's not accessible to everyone out on the dunes. It's hard to move, and if you lose power, we're starting to make process progress with more local, non-technological remedies, but there's still a lot out there to study. Hey, I figured out what's in there. Amazing! Elizabeth is wrapped in wonder. Butterflies? Who knew? If you'd given me a thousand chances, I'd never have guessed. I love butterflies, don't you? They flit across the world along their own little paths, dancing alone on the wind, but they seem so pleased whenever they meet up. Like us, I think. A bit like us, I think. She looks out at the horizon again. Thank you. You're a wonder. And please, take this. Another badge for the Nemora picking butterfly wrangling young glider who's been so helpful. I take the badge and put it away. I always thought guards were stern and stoic, but Elizabeth is bright. Joyful. It is powerful. Next on my list, I've got Hakoa. Decided it was worth making the trip. Wish me luck, and I'll wish our paths to cross again. I have a feeling they will. With a wave, I say goodbye to Elizabeth and go on my way. Okay, um... Is there mail around here? There's the mask caster. Hey, can I speak with you? Hey, child, speak with me! You can't catch me, I'm as fast as a hover bike! I've caught you. Hello, I've caught you. I've got you. Uh, uh, I've caught you. <laughs> okay. Well, what the fuck is that? Mask caster. I guess we should go inside. This is definitely how you're supposed to get in. Don't worry about it. Urgert. My clan has always been in the wash. We rarely venture beyond its borders. They say the chalk mounds were once bones of dead creatures, killed by the fall of the whale and left to erode over time. It's a bit creepy to think about, but the thing that really gives me the spooks is that petrified forest. You can hardly see your hands in front of your face in there. This is Ofu, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Glider, I've got a little job you can do for me. What's the job? I need some orange ringed beetles. Three of them. And I figured there's none better to ask than a glider. Um, our love of tasks is greatly exaggerated. <laughs> really? When I was on my gliding, I was hungry for things to do. I loved meeting people, doing all the little favors, and knowing how much I helped. Frankly, it's the only thing I liked about it. The rest of it's just sand in your bits. The gliding. Just sand in your bits. I ask where I might find the beetles. There's a nest to the northeast of here that should have a few, but if you've never collected orange ringed beetles before, I'll say this, they're skittish. Second to your approach, they'll burrow to get away. You'll want to lure them out to, over to somewhere undiggable. I tell her I'll do my best. Northeast, was it? Yeah, up there. Okay. I want a map. Hello. 
Scrapping ain't an easy mask to wear. It's bloody dangerous and dead lonely. I guess that's why we do it, eh? Either way, every glider should check out the old scrapyard up Bur Burnt Oak Way. He'll sort you out with some badges or cuts if you deliver any scraps you come across on your journey. Yep. Okay. Simoon, let's get going. Oh, you poor, poor creature. Let's go to whatever the fuck that is. Ooh, let's go to the skull, actually. Oh, I bet there are a ton of chums up here. Just so many. There's at least one. I think, unless that was just birds? Just birds. Climb the bones. Goodbye, burbs. Ooh. Okay, I see some rings out there. And a crash. Whatever the hell that is. Um... Let's climb these bones. See if there's anything worthwhile up there. There's gotta be something, right? There's no way there's nothing. Right? Am I just jumping these bones I found in the desert? Oh my god. Technically, yes. It's the first thing I wanted to do when I saw them. Uh, okay. We're fine. Chum. Give me that egg. We're on our way. Okay. I suspect that's all that's up here. We'll take a look over this way. But I doubt there's anything of consequence. Yeah, that's it. Okay. We. That was some fast wind. Moon. Come on. What are you? Chalk butterfly. Fun. Okay, Simon, for real, where are you? Aren't you, like, just up there? Oh, I hear you. There you are. Nice. Okay, let's go to this big motherfucker over here. Let's see what the hell's going on with this. <laughs> 